last three decades uh, I've been doing uh, routine eye surgeon duty. That is uh, attending to my patients in OPD, then selecting who needs surgery, who needs medicine, and then uh, doing surgeries. Later on, uh, we started uh, using lasers, and I was quite happy uh, with my journey. Okay, I'm giving vision to people with cataract. I'm removing spectacles for young people uh, with laser. And then uh, during Corona time, had a lot of time to you know reflect on my past and what I wanted to do. Yeah. And after that, for the last three years, uh, I have now dedicated my life to blind people. I'm doing a lot of work for blind people because you know uh, there are blind schools, there are organizations uh, who take care of blind people. But when blind people come to eye specialists, eye surgeons, uh, a typical answer from our side used to be, "Oh, we can't do anything for you." Now, of course, I am associated with smart vision glasses. Some of you must have seen uh, uh, smart vision glasses uh, video with Messi because uh, it was developed in Israel and then taken over by the USA also. Where if a blind person wears these glasses, they get walking assistance. That means the glasses will tell them if there is any obstruction, uh, say about two meters away, it can read for them. So even if they want to read a newspaper, they just have to unfold newspaper in front of them, and then these smart vision glasses would read for them. It can read printed material as well as handwritten material. So somebody if has given some note, these smart vision glasses, which are artificial intelligence enabled, it can read. Then it can recognize people. If some stranger comes, then it will say a male around age 30 years is in front of you. But if you feed your family members and friends name, then it would uh, call them by name. Okay, your mother is here, or Mr. Sharma is there. So for blind people, uh, it's very important if they get to know who is in the room or who is in front of them. And these glasses we've been developing for the last one and a half year actively. We had a prototype one, now we have prototype two. And we are in sync with the world's latest development, Israel and USA. We are working on prototype three, where the blind people will not be assisted only by voice, but once they wear it, then they'll be seeing this world as if somebody has made a sketch of the world. They'll be able to see things, not the features of the individuals, but a person is there, a bus is there, a computer is there. They would see the outlines. So we are working on uh, those uh, glasses. Then uh, I am uh, developing uh, some uh, instruments with the Japanese University. I had my initial uh, training in Japan in 1991. And uh, now we are uh, in AI uh, enabled instruments. The most common instrument we doctors use uh, is a slit lamp, which is about three feet by two feet. And now we have developed a slit lamp, which is portable, and it's just three inches by one inch. And it is attached to your mobile, and you can examine the whole life. So you can imagine if uh, innovations are done how uh, they help. And the final thing, uh, I'm working, uh, you, most of you may not be uh, aware of a disease called retinitis pigmentosa. This is one disease which starts from the birth, kid gets it from their parents, and then by the time they are 50, 55 year old, they become blind, gradually. And here the vision reduces from the periphery. So they are not able to see periphery of the vision and my blindness is there. Now important thing is which I want to convey to this whole world that uh, medicines are available. Most of my friends who are eye surgeons, they are not interested in you know, this. I don't know why because this is not a very lucrative uh, 
thing. And now we can help these retinitis pigmentosa uh, patients. Uh, I have a, a YouTube channel by my name, Dr. Rakesh Joshi, and I put about 350 videos on all medical related uh, you know, videos and social videos about eye care. I hope uh, coming here, joining all this uh, uh, company, I'll be able to spread these words uh, to other people also. Thank you for patience, please.